Hello, I'm Rachel. I'm the founder of Seeds. Seeds is like cryptocurrency mutual aid. And the purpose of this video is to do a quick and quick and dirty lo-fi demonstration um, of how to migrate or stake cryptocurrency on Uniswap version three. So I do, that's the intention of this video. So there's a presumption that you have some idea of like the theory behind this and why to use Uniswap in the first place. But in a quick nutshell, staking on platforms like Uniswap in decentralized finance is cool because we control our money when we do so and we can make more money through doing so. It's like we can effectively work democratically together to act as our own bank. Whereas when we give our money to a bank to invest, they make a lot of money off of us and pay us a fraction of what they're making. In DeFi, we're sourcing liquidity together without reliance on a centralized rich entity. And uh, and we can make 100% of those profits ourselves while con continuing to control our money throughout that experience. So that said, I'm gonna hop into the Uniswap version three interface. I'm gonna share my screen. So I'm also assuming that you know how to get to Uniswap v3. Um, and once we're on the interface, so we're checking this out here. I'm going to stake seeds and ether today in the seeds ether pool to show that example because that's probably going to be uh, what the majority of viewers of this video are going to do. So when you're staking, we're also assuming that you've already received seeds. Um, if you haven't received seeds yet, you're welcome to make a gift to someone in need at seedsgives.com slash help and we'll send you seeds and thanks and 100% of your gifts minus transaction fees will go to helping someone out. When you've received seeds, um, and you then want to stake them on Uniswap version three, you want to go up here to the top right. So I've already connected this Coinbase wallet. Um, if you're new to the crypto space, you may be using a Coinbase wallet as well. If I wanted to change to a different wallet, I could click here and see a variety of different types of wallet service providers, um, tools that allow us to manage our wallets on the blockchain. I'm going to stick with Coinbase wallet right now. So we can see that this wallet has 0 0.1732 Ether in it. So I've previously used this wallet to stake on Uniswap version two. So as a result, we can see here that it's giving me the option to migrate my V2 liquidity to version three. I can also view my V2 liquidity on the actual V2 platform if I chose to do so. Do so. so I'm gonna click on migrate V2 liquidity. So here's the pool that I've staked in, in V2 that I can migrate. Click on manage, and then I'm clicking on migrate. So now it's going to give me these additional options. It's telling me that the tool will safely migrate my V2 liquidity to V3. The, pro the process is completely trustless, meaning it's programmatic. Um, you can look at the code here in the Uniswap migration contract if you want to do so. Um, if you're a software developer, you can check it to see um, if there are bugs, but it's been audited by multiple third parties, so we can trust that it's safe. So I'm now going to go down here and choose a fee tier. So when we're checking this out, this is a new feature that Uniswap V3 is offering, something they're calling concentrated liquidity to essentially allow us to choose price ranges um, that we want to stake in instead of staking our liquidity at every price from zero to infinity. But first we have to choose a fee tier. So as it says here, if we're choosing the 0.05% fee tier, it's best for what are called stable pairs. So if you're staking a cryptocurrency that involves at least one so-called stable coin like USDC or DAI, um, stable coins are pegged to the price of the US dollar and they move in a narrower range. They range from uh, roughly like 99 cents to $1.01 within the Uniswap, within trade in the, on Uniswap's platform. In this case, we're staking seeds in Ether, neither of which are stable coins. So we're gonna go with this 0.3% fee option, which is best for most pairs, excuse me. And then on the far right, there's a 1% fee option. And to be clear, these are fees that we're earning as stakers. So they call, they say that this 1% fee option is best for exotic pairs, um, which I think is euphemistic. I think it's meant to mean that uh, it's going to make the most sense to do this if you're taking, if you're staking in a smaller pool, um, one that might have huge price movements and carry more risk than other pools. So in our case, 0.3% makes sense. Then we have to set the price range below. 
So as mentioned earlier, the new, the biggest uh, improvement that Uniswap V3 is offering is this concentrated liquidity thing. So what we can do is we can get a sense of where trade um, for a particular pair of cryptocurrencies is most often happening and it, within what price range. And we can then choose to narrowly stake within that price range. And that allows us to put more liquidity to use in that price range um, and therefore leverage our capital more efficiently. So essentially, if I chose, let's see, this is the current V3 Ether price. Right now, one Ether is worth 21,148.3 seeds. So if I want to choose a pretty narrow price range to trade in, which I do for the purposes of this, I'm going to say maybe the minimum price that I'd like to stake in here would be, let's say, 20,000 seeds per Ether. And maybe the maximum price is 24,000 seeds per Ether. I would do that. So in doing that, Uniswap is doing some math for me. And it's letting me know what will be staked. Um, and it's going to return a small portion of the ether that I had staked on B2 back to me. So this looks fine. It's a narrow price range, which is what I wanted. I'm cool with that. Um, I'm going to click on allow LP token migration. So now you can see in the upper right, it's asking me to confirm this on my phone because Coinbase wallet is a mobile app it's on my phone. So I'm going to do that on my phone right now. Okay, so it's asking me to sign. It's asking for a signature request, which I just agreed to. Um, importantly, it's not charging me any gas fees right now. This is free. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm gonna click on migrate and this will charge me a gas fee. So again, as you can see on the right, it wants me to confirm on my phone. It's charging a minor fee of $52.78 right now. So if that's too expensive for you, what you can do is wait until an odd hour and try again. Gas fees are variable. Um, I'm recording this video on June 3rd of 2021. And in July next month, the Ethereum ecosystem is supposed to be undergoing this significant upgrade, which should do a lot to address gas fee issues so that transa transaction fees can become more affordable. So you can wait for that as well. But if you're staking in a pool like the Seeds Ether pool that offers a bonus, it may make more sense for you to stake sooner rather than later. Um, and sometimes gas fees aren't, aren't too bad. This is more expensive than I wish I was paying, but I just agreed to it. So now you can see in the upper right, I have one pending. If I hadn't been migrating from V2 to V3 here, um, it would have simply asked me to stake. The button would have said something like add liquidity. Um, instead of asking me to migrate, but the process itself, itself would be almost identical. And that's effectively it. I don't want this video to be like super long. Um, so let me then just show you what you'll see once you staked, if you're checking things out. So I'm going to switch the wallet that I have connected over here. I'm going to change back to a MetaMask. This is another wallet I've staked from. Um, which is automatically connected at the top, right? So in going back to Uniswap and, and clicking on pool, because I've previously staked in this wallet on B3, we can see my position down here. So we can see I have 83 cents in unclaimed fees, $52,000 in liquidity staked from this wallet. If I wanted to, I could increase the liquidity or remove it. And if I choose to remove it, it'll automatically be sent back to my wallet. Um, I chose a much wider range in this case. Um, and seeds and ether have a small pool right now. We're growing, but we're still small. So that's another reason we're offering this bonus, which I'd mentioned. Um, if you choose to stake in the seeds ether pool, or we'll offer you up to 120% of what you've, you've staked if you leave it through the end of 2021. Um, oh, we can see that this migration worked on the right. So I can click on view on ether scan if I want to. I'm going to share the Etherscan screen so you can see it. So Etherscan is what's called a block explorer. For those who are unfamiliar, it's sort of like a Google for the Ethereum blockchain. So you can look up any wallet or any transaction that's ever happened on the Ethereum blockchain and view it here. So here we can see this is the wallet address that I staked from, that I migrated from rather. 
Um, we can see what I removed from V2, 101,483 seeds. And there were a lot of transfers that took place. But I moved a substantial amount of seeds in Ether to um, V3. And we can see that the transaction fee here was actually $35.38. So it didn't hit that max that I was quoted in my wallet. So that's that's a better price. That's not so bad. So there's that. Yeah. So the last thing, let me hop back into the Uniswap interface just to finish showing you what this looks like after you've staked. So yeah, we can see this other wallet we've staked from has a wider range. Yeah, so I'm still learning about V3. And as I continue experimenting, I may update this video um, if I have like better information to offer or if I can present it in a more effective way. So yeah, I mean, when you're staking in a narrow price range, this is a pretty wide price range. And like I said, this is a smaller pool. The seeds either pool is a smaller pool. So we offer this bonus to offset the fact that there isn't a ton of trade volume yet. Trade volume is what earns you fees. So yeah, I mean, if I'm staking in a narrower range, narrower price range as I just did um, from this uh, from this other wallet, the Coinbase wallet, I think there's more of a likelihood that there's going to be more trade volume within that price range, and therefore, therefore, I'm going to earn more in fees, which is why I experiment with that. Another thing that's kind of cool, I guess, about the the new version of Uniswap is that you can add a new position here. And what this means is that you can choose to stake in the same liquidity pool. I could stake in the Ether Seeds liquidity pool once again. And I can choose a completely different fee tier if I want to do that. I don't want to do that, but I could. And then I can experiment with other price ranges if I prefer to do so. So I could try that out here as well. Um, if I'm discovering that a certain price range maybe isn't optimal and I just want to try something out, but I don't want to remove all of the liquidity I staked at the original price range. So that's there as well. Um, yeah, so again, at the end of the day, what's helpful about this new design in V3 is that you can concentrate your liquidity, which means it takes a lot less cryptocurrency to make the same amount in fees that you would have made on V2, um, though you would have had to stake considerably more cryptocurrency. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'll probably reshoot this to make a better quality video in the future, but I wanted to get something out just to hopefully offer a little bit of help. All right. Um, oh, I should also share. Um, that's it. I think that's all I want to share. All right. Thank you.